setting up her night in court. Britney Spears' parents in court this week, though apparently she wasn't. So for the better part of a decade, Britney Spears' father, Jamie Spears, has been in control of all of her personal decisions. After several successful world tours and a Vegas residency, many of her fans are saying it's time to, quote, free Britney. But some legal experts say the mere fact that this arrangement has gone on so long suggests she may still be vulnerable. So time to hear from both sides and make their cases. David Gibbs, president and general counsel of National Center for Life and Liberty and criminal defense attorney Bob Bianchi. Gentlemen, welcome to you both. Hello, Shannon. Pleasure to be with you. Okay, we're going to start with Exhibit A. Uh, this is from Britney Spears' longtime manager, Larry Rudolph, talking to the Washington Post. He said, the conservatorship is not a jail. It helps Britney make business decisions and manage her life in ways she can't do on her own right now. David. Shannon, when in doubt, the courts need to get out. One of the core elements of the American jurisprudence is that we should be able to self-determine to control our own lives. That's what we have under our Constitution. That's what free citizens are given. And when a court says for 10 years we are going to control all your assets, all your decisions, that is a very scary thing. It doesn't mean Britney Spears has to be the best decision maker, but really the question is should she be able to make her own decisions? And I think many people are beginning to say absolutely yes. Okay, so that takes us to Exhibit B. The LA Times uh, says this, the legal oversight is highly unusual. Conservatorships are designed to protect people who cannot take care of themselves, but Spears, now 37, has worked nonstop over the course of her own, producing four albums and going on as many world tours. So, Bob, what do you make of it? That's true, but the other part of the law is, however, uh, a conservatorship, which is also a guardianship, is appropriate when a person is subjected to undue influence. And the courts had found, based upon the overwhelming amount of money and the overwhelming amount of people that were coming at her like vultures, and because of a very delicate uh, mental health problem that she had, that she was easily subjected to undue influences. And this was stuff that came out in court with judges that are independent that were looking at it that said, you know what, this conservatorship is necessary and in her best interest because Britney Spears isn't just like everybody else. Okay, I want to get you all to quickly weigh in on the Antonio Brown case as well. To exhibit C here, his lawyer, now that he's facing multiple allegations of sexual assault, says this. Mr. Brown denies each and every allegation in the lawsuit. He will pursue all legal remedies, not only to clear his name, but to also protect other professional athletes against false accusations. David, he's going to be looking for a new job, too. Well, he absolutely is. And Shannon, we're in the classic he said, she said. But we need to remember that when victims come forward against powerful people, celebrities or others, it takes a great deal of courage. And while we certainly don't want false accusations, in these type of situations, we need to recognize oftentimes what's being alleged is indeed true. And these victims need to be supported. Law enforcement needs to assist them. And we need to understand it's incredibly difficult for them to step out and assert these claims. And of course, our legal system is built on the um, presumption of innocence. So as this plays out, Yahoo Sports says this, the Patriots had no choice in Exhibit D but to release Antonio Brown, not because of some crisis of conscience behind closed doors, but because Brown left them no choice. As serious allegations against the receiver continued to mount, the distractions reached untenable proportions. Bob. Well, uh, we have, listen, that's a business decision that they can make, but the sad reality is I was a person who prosecuted these kinds of cases for many years and was a person who led a prosecutorial agency. And while it is true that most of the complaints that are alleged are in fact accurate and truthful, there is also a substantial amount of times where those complaints turn out to be false. And when you're dealing with a high profile public figure like I do now in my defense practice, something that is going to be very concerning and it would concern me as a prosecutor, not just as a defense lawyer, is that she ran to civil court in order to get money damages as opposed to having gone to the police or gone to the prosecutors where she could have gotten punishment and she could have made sure that other women were protected from such activity. And that is going to be, as a prosecutor, concerning to me because a defense attorney is going to make a big deal of that. Mm -hmm. All right, Bob and David, you have made your cases. Thank you both very much. We now leave it to folks at home. You are our jury. So use at Fox News Night or at Shannon Bream and hashtag Night Court to let us know what you think on Brittany and Antonio. Okay.